Taylor, Woodward, and they're off. Go for Jin and Bertrando. Bertrando broke well on the outside, and he has gone immediately to the front. Go for Jin is there, and Holy Bull right off Bertrando. Out of the chute, onto the main track now. Bertrando is the pacemaker. Holy Bull is right there, edging to him now on the outside. Go for Jin, the Derby winner, is running in third. Then it's Brunswick, Pistols and Roses, the gray on the outside. Devil is due has been shuffled back now. He's running sixth and behind horses. Colonial Affair is reserved at the back of the pack, and Tinner's Way is the trailer. He's about eight lengths from the lead. A moderate pace here. Bertrando, surprisingly moderate. The first quarter went in 23 and two-fifths seconds. And Holy Bull is settled into the rhythmic beat of his long and powerful stride with five furlongs to go. They've run a half in 46 and two-fifths seconds. The fractions are sensible. Go for Jin is up close to this moderate pace. Devil is due has been taken to the inside. Brunswick is revving up on the outside now. Then Pistols and Roses now running in six. Colonial Affair, a Belmont winner, only four and a half lengths from the lead. And around the far turn, Holy Bull seizes the lead with three furlongs to go as Bertrando surrenders. Go for Jin is called on for more run. Devil is due is weaving his way through between horses and Colonial Affair is making a run on the inside and the field turns for home with the ball to catch. Holy Bull coming to mid stretch with a two and a half length lead. Devil his due giving his all. Colonial Affair giving his all. But it's Holy Bull. Holy Bull winning like a champion with devastating ease. Holy Bull toyed with the best horses in training. He wins by five lengths, beating Devil is due and Colonial Affair.